Hi. Hey, Mark. It's Kevin Davis. How are you today? Hey, Kevin. I'm good. How are you? Good. It's been way too long. I enjoyed our previous chat uh, back when you were with Down. Yep. Did the part Definitely. partner with you again with the uh, the Christmas EP. I've uh, been very blessed by it and have played it for my family quite a bit. And wow, cool. um, you and I, uh, one of my first 30 behind the song uh, articles I ever wrote was talking with you about how many kings. So I love the uh, really? historical historical significance of the fact that we've already featured that story. Yeah, you actually shared with me um, um, your dad's involvement uh, and his and uh, comment to you about the song and uh, and things like that. It was really cool. So uh, I can actually send it to Josh. You can you actually just do. Do a Google search behind the phone with Kevin Davis. Uh, how many kings you can actually you can actually see it uh, and read and read what you shared me. Yeah, back in two thousand eight, we had that conversation. So, well, it all comes back around. Yeah. So, why I wanted to talk to you about uh, what child is this uh, is one. I do several of these Christmas articles a year, uh, and interestingly, I actually interviewed Jason. Uh, about your guys' cover of Silent Night for one of these as well. Okay. And uh, kind of wanted to get a feel from, from your perspective of uh, what that song means to you personally, not not obviously anything about the writing of the song, um, but more the the message of it and uh, how um, it, it puts you in, in the right frame of mind for this season, uh, and also maybe how it connects somewhat to... Uh, some of the other tracks on your Christmas album. So if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit about the song selection process and in particular about uh, what child is this? So I, I sort of just, I played the basic chords on the piano that I wanted him to play around and I sent him that. And then a few days later, he sent me like all this awesome acoustic guitar finger picking and amazing banjo solo. I was like, oh my gosh, this is almost done just the way it is. I set the thing on mm. it. And I got a little carried away and I added a little more to it. And uh, I'm just hugely pleased with how it worked out. It was actually the easiest song to record on this whole EP. It was the last one we did. Um, I guess the fact that I was a little pressed for time to think, the, you know, the, the recording deadline was quick approaching. I was like, man, I just need to get this done. I know the song so well. Sure. Um, so, uh, but I had a lot of fun. It's actually the, you know, the first song I've re I really, it's the only song I really collaborated um, on the record. Besides my friend, uh, I brought in another friend for a couple other songs to help produce. But um, as far as bringing in another artist who, you know, is an amazing player, uh, it's a really cool treat to, to work with Ron Block. And I, I really want to do that again. But uh, cool. Yeah, man. It's just always been one of my favorites. I didn't I didn't realize that it was gonna be the single on the record. Um, since it was the last one we recorded, um, you know, I, I thought we were gonna go with a different song, a bleak a bleak midwinter, but this one just sort of came together so easily and seamlessly. And it's got a sort of a nice upbeatness to it. Um that um you know, it's it's got the familiarity that people know of the song with still a little bit of an artistic slant. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super pleased with how this one turned out. No, me too. And I think that's what struck me is, uh, I like the, as you said, the banjo, um, I was already, uh, a fan. I mean, of the down here Christmas record, having done a couple of previous discussions and then this kind of brought it back for me in a, in a slightly, as you said, more almost straightforward way. Um, but still interesting and upbeat enough to uh, attract people. And one of the lines, you know, just in that first verse, um, whom angels greet with an anthem sweet while shepherds watch are keeping, you know, this, mm -hmm. this is Christ the King, um, whom shepherds guard and angels sing, haste, haste to bring them lot to babe the son of Mary. So like that whole, that whole, uh, concept that that taking us right there to the manger, you know. So now he's born, but the angels are still singing, and then we get to join in. You know, I kind of feel like that's a, an aspect of of where this song takes us. Um, right. But but it also is almost like the start of singing a new song 
uh, to the Lord in the New Testament, right? Like there's there's all those examples of that in the uh, Old Testament from the Psalms and David. Uh, but then you have like like this now. Now we know the object of who we're thinking about. Now it's it's Jesus, right? He's here, yeah. and and ever since, right? So from that day till today, right up through every every original song you've ever composed, um, it has reflected this type of sentiment. And I wondered if that's also partly uh, what maybe attracted to you. And this is where we can maybe have a how many kings part two discussion uh, relative to in some ways how your uh, attempt to capture that same reverence uh, of of Jesus coming and what that means to us, um, you know, because I'll read you a line from How Many Kings, bringing our gifts for the newborn Savior, all that we have, whether costly or meek. You know, like, there it is again. There's this, we are in this humble place, um, and we're singing to this child, right, who is our Savior, and... And he came so that we could have life. And uh, yeah, on that level, how would you like people to apply kind of a thread uh, of those kinds of thoughts as they listen to your new Christ- Christmas album? Yeah, I just love how Christmas music kind of is the great equalizer. I think once a year we get, I love how, I, I love how we live in a country where still once a year we get to think about this thing, this incarnation. Um fulfillment of hundreds of years of prophecy, um, even 2,000 years after it's done. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and how it's the great equalizer in the fact, in, in the sense that it's like the last thing. I mean, this is my favorite thing I say about, this is why I wrote How Many Kings. It's the last thing any human on earth would have thought of. If you were to imagine, you know, how is God going to fulfill this prophecy of a Savior coming to rescue his people uh, is he gonna he's probably gonna come riding on some horse somewhere maybe out of the cloud um, but he no of course we know that he did the exact opposite and um, in so doing sort of invites no matter who you are whether you're rich poor and uh, nobody famous we're all the same um, and we can all come to this this meek little child who at his birth had everyone from wise men to the poorest of the poor, shepherds taking care of him, and and then, you know, the the host of angels were involved, and um, it just seems like every slice of humanity was there, even from the beginning, just invited into the story, um, which is obviously now, two thousand years later, it's it's like, well, it's just an under underdog story. What's 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 new about that? I'm like, well, right. I think maybe it's the first great underdog story, you know. Mm. Um, and that's why that sentiment appeals to our our humanness. We love to see uh, someone win, sort of seemingly out of nowhere, you know. And uh, and I think that's what attracts us to the Christmas story, and and we can all identify that with that because like, no matter who you are, yeah, me too. I I could be a part of that story because I'm nobody, um, yet I'm made somebody in Christ. Is so many love, you know, leaves to that onion. So yeah, uh, yeah there's so well, many aspects in in uh, in how many kings that are, you know, my favorite thing about Christmas. And I may have told you this the first time, but um, we were commissioned to write Christmas songs the first time around in 2008, and um, I'd never written a Christmas song before, so I figured I'd better just kind of stick to the, the old songwriting drawing board of write what you know, and I just kind of asked myself the question, what's my favorite thing about the Christmas story? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, I sort of immediately answered myself in, in my mind, you know, just that I could not have come up with it. Um, it's the last thing I would have come up with. And so, um, hence the, uh, the rhetorical questions in the, in the, uh, in the course. That's what's cool about the tie-in here is "What Child Is This?" is also a question song. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. it's a both both songs are like, "What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping?" Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and I, I love that because 
isn't that really what our relationship is with him? It's right. It's that we don't understand him. We follow him in faith, and yet he invites those questions because that is that is prayer. That is um, relationship, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, anybody who really lays down people? our preconceptions or you know the uh, the ideas about God that we formed in our heads and you know, these these types of songs challenge us to to re-examine ourselves. Hello? You have me, Mark? Oh, sorry, I lost you there for a sec. All right. Uh, yeah, thank you for this opportunity to revisit um, that conversation a little bit and also tie it into to this new recording and then also, of course, the new uh, How Many Kings recording as well. So, yeah, I will um, get this posted. I think... So... And uh, I'll send it back to question. Before to chatting again some more about the Sorry, man. I'm really, I'm really losing you. I wonder if I'm in a bad spot here. Sorry about that. It might be me. So, uh, yeah, I only have like one, one bar. So, uh, no, pre appreciate the opportunity to chat again, and look forward to our next conversation. You too, Kevin. Great talking, man. Thank you. Uh, you too, Mark. Forward all right, all the best. Right up. All right. I appreciate it. You too, bud. All right, bye-bye.